Hello viewers, I have received some requests to show the process of changing out the telephones on video and I'm not going to do it this time because the next change out which I'm going to do hopefully today is going to be the Christmas setup or the initial Christmas setup anyways and the process is kind of go down to like a skeleton setup if you will where we just have a minimal set of phones out to be able to adequately make and receive calls and that's it i prioritize the locations for christmas decorations and then sometimes afterwards after i finalize all the christmas stuff then i will go through and fill in the holes with more phones so there won't be much to see this time around it's mostly just going to be putting stuff away so you're going to see another phone set up and it's not going to have a a behind the scenes video but hopefully the next one after this coming one will have a behind the scenes video and what i will show here is is the nightmare that is the phone storage this is horrible if i could think of a worse way to do it this is probably what it would be <laughs> this is just this is awful what i have here is all these boxes are full of telephones, handsets, and bases. I have a couple of bags of wall mounts, mount brackets. I think that's the bag of belt clicks in there. Or that's the bag of belt clicks. Some cords. And then there's some AC adapters down there. And this is horrible because there's no rhyme or reason to anything here. When I first started storing it this way, I had some categorization, at least the adapter boxes I had in different brands. So the big one was Uniden, and then the other was Panasonic, and then the other, there's a third one behind there. That was AT&T and VTech. And so that wasn't, wasn't terrible. It wasn't great, but it, it was better. Now it's just, there's been so many phones that came in since then, it just kind of spilled over and it's all just a mix. Same thing with the boxes. At one point, it was somewhat by brand, at least. Now it's just anything. is just packed in there the most efficient way it would fit. And so the frustration is that when I want to use a particular phone, it's easily a half an hour process to look through all the boxes to find where the handset is, find where the base is, sift through a couple hundred AC adapters and find where that is, sift through the belt clips and find where that is, find a mounting bracket if I need a bracket and it's infuriating because half the time I can't find one piece and I can't use it and then it ends up being oh well that that one piece that I was looking for happened to be put in uh, one of these boxes that I keep under the bed you know so oh so the the handset was in fact under the bed and then power cord for whatever reason was still downstairs and it's just it's terrible and then now the boxes have spilled over into this closet as well. So I have a couple of boxes in here. Um, those two boxes there are phones. Um, it's just, uh, it, it's awful. Now I do have other areas which are better. In here I have a lot of 900 megahertz phones. This, in fact, is really good because this I have the base, the adapters, and the bracket all together in one draw. And then it's just a matter of finding the handset, which isn't too bad. Now, this is all full of mostly 900 megahertz phones. This is good. I like the way this is. Got a couple of the miscellaneous things here. We got a color ID box here. line in one of these yeah. so so that's pretty good I like that storage shelf and then I have this over here which is kind of in between what I like and what I don't like um, this is a lot of handsets which I can at least see what's here every now and again something tips over and then everything tips over and it just avalanches out and that's that's terrible but this this isn't too bad as i can pretty easily come in here and find what i'm looking for relatively quickly 
Same thing with this. It's not efficient, but it's not too inferior. I have another shelf here, which is, uh, I got a lot of handsets in here. A lot of these handsets are the ones that are in that white draw thing over there. A couple answering machines, some more power cords. What I used to do years ago before it got totally out of control was I took a plastic bag and I would put the base, the cradles, and the power cord all together and then I'd put that bag in the box. And then it was just the handsets that were stored somewhere else. That worked pretty good, but again, it just, space ran out. All these power cords are labeled with the model number, so they're, nothing is lost. It just takes a long time to sift through there and find it. I also have a draw here of handsets. This, you never used to have all this stuff on top. It was just the stuff vertically. And this worked okay. You know, I can open this draw up and see see where everything's at. You know, so this is this is okay. Uh, it's not great, but it's okay. It's really just this, which is totally terrible. What I'd like to do eventually, you know, well, I'll be able to do this soon enough at the next location, is have a room dedicated to phones. And I'll just have shelves along the walls that have the phones all together the power cord the handsets the base everything will be together and set up on display and it'll be so easy to go in there and find exactly what i'm looking for because having it like this ugh, i just i dread changing out the phones because of it being like this it takes so long to find anything but due to space constraints, this is what we're working with for now.